Yo, what's up everyone, Akar, and you're coming to you with a new video. Today, I'm going to show you my fully finished Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. You might be thinking, wait, fully finished? But it's only the 25th. Yeah, I've been going really, really hard on twitch.tv slash Akari, and I've been streaming every single day on Animal Crossing for like 10, 12 plus hours, just going ham, just trying to get my island done. So, if you want to see more of this, or more Animal Crossing content, please be sure to check me out over there. I'll do other stuff like Smash, but pretty much, we're gonna go over my island today, and I'll show you literally everything that I've done. I would personally say I'm completely done right now, and there's not nothing much more that could be added, so let's just get a little tour here. So pretty much, if you would be starting out on the island, you would be coming over, you would be right here in the other airlines at the start. So then you would have two options to go to. One, the right is our community fountain, and then over there is just the mayor's office, and whoever is coming, so if like Kix is there, or any other uh, resident that wants to be there for the day will be there. But here are a couple of my trees, and then over here you can see there's the fountain. Um, I had the idea to fill this one out with every single flower in the game, but I currently don't have all the flower colors, so I just have it like this for now. But I think it's like a very cool touch to have like a fountain like this over here to start, so I added that to it. Then when we go up here, we'll go to the mayor's office, where obviously Isabel and Tom Nook are. I don't think I have to show this to anyone. But yeah, here, here's Kix over here, just chilling, selling his shoes right now. And then um, we can go over here to the left, where I have my Able Sisters. All right next to the Able Sisters, I have two neighbors, which are Bud and uh, they're there, or how I would like to call her, Deidara. And um, right over here, they have their ping pong table here together, and she has a little pizza oven with, you know, like her table, her cutting board for the pizza. And here's Bud just chilling at the place. Then over here we have a little bench to sit on next to a campfire, just to relax and enjoy it. And then over here we have Bud's house. So as you can see, Bud is all about working out, so this is why I have like a pull-up bar here. And the mountain bike, I thought that would give him a little bit of a nice touch. And over here I got him oranges, because he mentioned once it was his favorite fruit, so I kinda gave him the oranges. He's definitely an orange guy. And here's just a couple more trees lined up, some peach trees and some pear trees. But yeah, when we continue going over here, we have a little uh, wind turbine just to get some electricity in the town going. I also thought it was nice that you just add that here because it was a lot of empty space, so I just gave it that kick. So now uh, we're going to go over to the next neighborhood, which is here, next to my tree farm. So as you can see, if you look closely here on the back side, there is my tree farm that I currently have going on for myself. I'll show that one later too. But yeah, you know, here's just a little neighborhood for all the people of a little well right here. I think this is just decorated very nicely, so I just I just want to have it all like together to make it look like like one unit rather than just make it further apart. But yeah. So then over here behind the mayor's office I have a barbecue place. Which I built um just so like if people come over, like if I open my island for like eight people, we have enough people to sit here. And obviously some villagers also want to sit here, so I just got like a couple of spaces here and a little log stool to sit on to enjoy the campfire and whatnot. And over here we have a little telescope. This is just like just to look at at night, it's pretty nice. But yeah, then let's continue going down over here to the next neighborhood, which is right next to the campsite. So I have the campsite right next to the a mayor's office just because I think it's nice to have it. So like if someone new comes in, a new villager, they can instantly see it. They also obviously don't have water so I put a little drinking um, stone right here for them to enjoy. So over here is the next neighborhood where currently Ozzy is fishing. So hi Ozzy. You can see my nook shop over here as well with a little guitar, a trash can and a fully functioning snack machine as you can see. He just got some Oreos right there. You can also get yourself some drinks from that, so this is definitely a cool thing. Okay, well let's go down here. We're gonna be over to the other houses, which is right here. Here's one. And down there are Bianca's and O'Hara's houses, as you can see. Then if we go up again, over here I have a little sporty place. So like, if you wanna play soccer, basketball, Volleyball, whatever else in this world, you can definitely do that. We just gotta like put the items here, really. So for whatever you want to play, the ball pretty much works for everything. So 
that's definitely a thing right there. So, over here is the most recent thing that I've built, which is my little dojo that I have. So, as you can see, I just gave it a lot of care and looked like what would dojos look like on uh, Google. So I just like searched like, alright, how do dojos look? And I just took a lot of inspiration from that. And I think it turned out pretty well. I have like a little ninja costume over here in the kimono to represent everything. I have my little punching bag right here. And yeah, I just think this is like a little nice place to like, you know, just train, relax, all of that. So when we go over here, you can see I have built a little light tower right here. It's nothing special, but I just wanted to like, you know, do something with the empty space. Then let's continue to the last part, which is my house, actually. We also gotta go for the museum for that, but we still haven't gotten over like where my house actually is. Let's just do that real quick and show that. So when we go over here, you can just see a little money tree, nothing special, and the museum. I've already have like almost all of it filled out except for like the bugs and fish. So there's a little bath right here for people to like enjoy. And over here is my flower garden on both sides. I have a flower garden on each side actually. It's so like I have a flower garden growing over here and on the other side as well. I also have a little tree farm growing over here as you can see with the intention of money, which is why I have money trees in front. And uh, coming to my house right here, I built a little fountain just to like have that in front. I have a little river here and then I just have a pool here with a couple of flowers, a little table with a mug, and an actual something to lay on here in the back side, which you don't see. This is just a secret. And I have two little more secrets right now in this um, little town that I'm going to show you right now next to my house. So you're probably wondering why I let this open right here. This is because I have a little beach down there actually. So I can go down here. This is the only way to access this little part of the map, by the way. And then I can go ahead and fish here with someone. As you can see, I can't get through this here at all, like on each side. So this is the only way to access this. So it's like you have like a little beach area for your own house on your backyard, which is really, really cool. And then over here, this is locked down for the only reason, because uh, this is just a door, pretty much. It's, it's supposed to be a door, which leads to a secret path to my fruit farm. So as you can see right here, if we go back here, we're gonna be at my fruit farm that I showed beforehand. And we're here at the neighborhood right there. And then we can go back right here. And um, go in front of my house. So let me just close this real quick. So yeah, this is my little island that I've created for myself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It was a pleasure working on this. I really love this game. So I've really enjoyed doing this. It's been a lot of hard work though. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.